Welcome to Gear Jammer Garage. Today I'm going to be installing the disc brake spindles so I can finish the uh, front suspension here. I got all the old stuff over here. It originally came with drums. The control arms are on. This side is already torqued and ready to go. So let's get started. The kit that I'm using I bought from Western Chassis, but the box says POL on it. This is the passenger side here, so I'll take it to the table and we'll open it up. So this is how they ship it. It's already assembled, but it's not uh, greased. So I'm gonna tear it apart. It'll make it easier to work with. So to take the caliper off, you'll need a 3 8 Allen. It's pretty simple to do when everything's new. So I got it apart. There's my two bearings. The seal is in the box. I'm going to go install this and then we'll do the rest later. these off then there's a little groove in here that's where the seat the spring is gonna it's gonna go in that groove over there like that There's also like a spring pocket on the top part. So if you're doing this on a C10, the bottom ball joint nut is 90 and the top one over here is 50. This is a C20, so the, the spec for both of them is 90. So I'll torque that down real quick and then we're done. it now we just got to go a little more for the cotter pin right there that's good put the cotter pin in there we'll fold it over right now
just a little bit more. So if you reach the torque, the torque value and the, the hole doesn't light up for the cotter pin, just go a little bit more till you get to the next notch. So before you put the rotors on, you got to pack the bearings. The way I do it, you put some grease in the palm of your hand and then you just kind of scoop it like that and force it in here. After you do that, then you can put the wheel seal. <clears throat> then you do the same for the outer bearing and uh, then you're good. Just get some grease like that and then just kind of go all around making sure that the grease gets all the way inside and gets all those bearings that are in there those uh like those little roller parts So the factory service manual says to torque this down to 40 pound feet while you're spinning the uh, the rotor. And then when you get to 40, back it off one third of a turn, which from here should be straight up. And then tighten for a uh, cotter pin alignment. Which is right there. Feels good. Got it on, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm pretty much done. The only thing I gotta do now is put the calipers on. I did notice that the brake hoses weren't sent in the kit. So I'll call Western Chassis tomorrow and figure that out. It's pretty easy to do. It just kind of just sits in here and you put the bolts, but I'm gonna add 
a little bit of annexes to the back of the brake pad. Doesn't need a lot. I'm also going to add some annexes to the bolts to these bolts here. Doesn't need much, just because it slides on it. Well, that's going to do it for today. Got the spindles on, springs, brakes. Can't find my shocks. So I'll look for those. And then I got to get the uh, the brake holes. So I can start plumbing all the brakes in. Next time I come work on it, I'll probably change the heater core and paint this heater box. Change all these seals here. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Yeah.